What's up, traders? Matt from the Trade Brigade here doing a technical analysis on ticker symbol LMND for Lemonade Inc. On the left-hand side, we have the daily time frame. Right-hand side, the 30-minute intraday time frame. First things first, I need to let you know they gave us an earnings announcement after the bell today. So let's flip on the extended hour session here and see what's going on with the number right away. A bit of a bloodbath to the downside, right? So it's very likely we'll open on some sort of gap down for tomorrow's session. But please keep in mind, a lot can happen between now and 9.30. So for now, we just want to know a couple of critical levels. First one would be the overnight low. Next one is the forecasted opening print. And then, of course, today's low of day for the gap fill area. From there, let's take a look at the daily time frame chart to talk through some scenarios here. Uh, what do we have, right? So primarily, we're looking for the gap and trap, and that's scenario number one always. Do we open here, fail to take out the overnight low, fail to find new sellers, right? That's how that works. Then trade long back up through the open to fill the gap overhead. That's uh, could be a likely scenario here, but given what's going on on the trend perspective, right? If I go back out to an auto chart, zoom out, I mean, this thing is in such an aggressive downtrend. I'm not sure I would even want to play the gap and trap here inside of Lemonade. I mean, it could happen, right? That's always the scenario that we're looking for is the gap and trap. But given the severity of the downtrend, I don't know if it would be the first place that I would look for longs on tomorrow's session. That's all I'm getting at here. Uh, the other scenario would be the gap and go, right? So what that one looks like is if we just, again, zoom into this chart. If we open here, really get no acceptance into that gap overhead, then we look to take out the overnight low for a continuation move to the downside. And in that instance, let's go out to a weekly. I believe we're making new all-time lows. Yeah, there's nothing to really look out for to the downside. I would say maybe 10, the psychological number, if this thing wants to get into free fall mode, that would be kind of the next place where, again, maybe there's some sort of psychological support there, but there's nothing else in terms of structure, right? So be very, very careful trying to fish for bottoms here if we start taking out the overnight low on some momentum to the downside. So that's really going to wrap up the video. It's either going to be the gap and trap if you have, um, you know, the, the fortitude to go that way if you catch my drift or just stay away if you think it's going to go lower on the gap and go. Coming on over to the trade tab, you'll obviously notice it's hard to borrow. And the volume over here on the put side of things, it's not fantastic on these Atom money uh, puts. Maybe, you know, some of these further, you know, if you just search for the volume, maybe you could take very small size there, but it wouldn't be my first choice. Even look at some of these spreads in here. doesn't look too attractive to try to play downside inside of Lemonade. So that's going to wrap up the video. If you enjoyed it or learned anything new today, let me know in the comments section or by giving the video a thumbs up. Don't forget our main channel is linked in the description. And all of that being said, I wish you a green trading week.